This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. When you do, when you do what I do for a living, you expect a little vitriol. You expect a little hate, little, uh, little angsty emails and voicemails, especially in the age of Trump. I've long before I hosted a podcast and and did what I do on YouTube. I was a, a mouthy, opinionated person. Mixed it up on the Facebook and on, on Twitter. A lot. Like many of you, I'm sure. Uh, I care about my country. Was active in politics. I used to work on Capitol Hill. I've worked for, for several congressional campaigns, both for the House and the Senate. And uh, politics has always been an interest of mine. So when you traffic in these areas, you, you're around people who are passionate. I'm going to read an email. I'm going to start with an email and then play two voicemails that I got recently that are just, mwah, just chef's kiss dumbassery. From the other side, of course. Now, I get voicemails all the time, dozens per day, of people who are ostensibly liberal or Democrat who disagree with me. And that is okay. Reasonable people can disagree. The only person that I agree with 100% of the time is myself. Anyway, I I just, (laughs) I was planning to start my weekend and uh, I got this email and I decided, you know what, I'm going to address a few of these. So uh, I'm going to start with this one email and then we'll move on. Hey, Jarhead. Ah, Hang on. (laughs) One more thing. (laughs) Of course, As with all of these, Anonymous didn't leave his name. Cowards. They're all cowards. That's why on Twitter, they have some cartoon as their avatar. It's not their real name. It's because they're afraid to put their actual name and face on what they believe. I don't do that. I'm Jesse Dollamore. I'm right here. I give you a phone number and an email address. And this is me. I don't get the same courtesy. Back to the email. Hey, Jarhead. I'm a combat veteran. Would love for you to say the shit to me as you did about Tucker. You piece of shit democratic communist traitor. Seems to have the same punctuation, spelling, and capitalization issues as his dear leader, Donald Trump. I don't give a fuck you served. I took my oath to defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign, foreign, and domestic, especially the Democratic Communist Party and the fucking bullshit you back in Black Lives Matter Marxist movement and Antifa. And far as Tammy Duckworth goes, if she hates Washington and wants history erased, she is a piece of shit. No real veteran thinks like you, Democratic traitors. So bring your pussy ass on. Let's see you shut my mouth up, you ginger, racist, slave-loving, Democratic piece of shit. I'll embarrass you on history. (laughs) Uh, uh, (laughs) it's odd that you capitalized history here and then didn't capitalize history here there's not even congruency between your your mistakes sir they, they teach that in elementary school don't they I mean, I was taught that in elementary school, and I went to a small mountain, an Idaho town, a tiny town in the mountains of Idaho. I graduated with like 74 kids. I got a decent education. I'm just sad. You should have paid more attention in elementary school. Uh, Let's continue. You obviously know nothing about Thomas Jefferson, just your democratic ideology ignorance. This is what real American patriots are. Look up the group American Contingency. 
your pussy ass wouldn't be invited. Well, why would I, why would I look him up if I'm not going to get a gracious invite from American contingency? Ding dong. Uh, you would not, you wouldn't be invited since you're a democratic fucked up beyond all recognition, ignorant motherfucker. <laughs> uh, L-M-F-A-O. Laughing my f ass off. Okay. At how stupid, capitalized, you are on your videos, capitalized. Don't have a coronary, dickhead! I bet you backed that non-American POS Muslim Obama, didn't you? There should be a period there, or actually a question mark. Uh, his whole f***ing administration broke the Constitution. Tell me you don't have a fucking clue the Constitution. Keep crying like the bitch you are. So f*** off, you California nutjob. How's the fires doing in California? I hope it destroys the f***ing democratic communist state. Pelosi is your hero. Nadler, Biden do nothing in 50 f***ing years in government. Must suck being on your knees sucking 24-7, 365 for your Democratic Communist hate party. You love it, though. You know what gender you are. Can't fix stupid like you. It's infinite. Signed, Real American Patriot and sent from his Verizon Samsung Galaxy smartphone. So, Juan, I would say this to you, Real American Patriot. I, I, that's a weird name if your parents gave you that name. But, uh... There's a lot of Republicans who live in California. So if you're wishing for the entire state to burn and people to die, you're, you're wishing for your own countrymen. There's tons of Trump people. I live in Orange County. There's a lot of Trump dummies all over the place. So maybe, you know, look out for what you're wishing for. But the other thing is, I, come on. I mean, this is, this is, this is nuttiness. This is abject stupidity. And bigotry. And there's all, I mean, the, the anti-trans stuff and anti-gay bigotry. Uh, do I know what gender I am? Yeah, I, I happen to do know what gender I am. But what, what's that have to do with anything? Uh, anyway, I get a lot of this. I just, this one just came in today. These last couple uh, have been over the last uh, few weeks. While I was in Washington, I was going to put it together a thing, but you know, with, with, with chemo appointments and my daughter and, and, and taking care of her, I just didn't get around to it. So I'm going to play a couple of these. A few weeks ago in the, in the aftermath of the death of George Floyd, I did a video, kind of a takedown video, I guess is how, what they're called on the internet of, um, Candace Owens who went through and read over the, the, the criminal record, the irrelevant criminal record of, of George Floyd, and just her ignorance and bigotry and hatred was on full display. And I, I did a video about it. And I got a, a voicemail about that video that is just, again, just, ah, just so terrible. Let's take a listen here. Uh, yes, hello, this is uh, John Davis. Um I saw a quick clip uh, of one of your videos on YouTube. Oh my gosh, it's, it's, it's so funny. Um, so funny. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, all the guys say like AD and, uh, you know, all, all the people that have been a part of the movie, um, one of the most amazing documentaries of the 21st century called uh, Uncle Tom. I, I, only, I only heard a couple of minutes, but I can't hear any more because it's so ridiculous and so funny. I mean, so funny. To, to talk about Candace Owens breaking that down and, and about <laughs> Trump being, uh, you know, a uh, racist or a uh, white supremacist. I mean, I mean you, you do know that your own party, Democrat people, have created the KKK. They started the KKK. They started segregation. They put that into law. They started slavery. I mean, right there, there's no, there's no. Well, there's no reason to go any further. I mean, it's, it's hilarious. I mean, hilarious. You, you, talking about Candace Owens and Donald Trump, and then I mean, breaks everything she says and why what, Donald Trump's a white supremacist. It's the most funniest thing. I mean, it's the most funniest you're thing. You were part of the Democrat Party who created the KKK, <laughs> who created segregation, mm. segregation before that, and created uh, slavery. Um, you know, the Republicans uh, saved the slaves from the Democrats. So, 
<laughs> I'm looking at your your views and your and your subscribers and AB and and uh, all all my brothers right there. Um, I, I'm a Caucasian man, but I but I, but I love my uh, other um. These uh, black African Americans that are waking up and know what to do with you know, you know who they are. They they're all over YouTube. They're hugely popular. They have ten times as many views as you have and subscribers. So we don't even go into detail who they are. Y'all know. Um, if you want to know? You know, look at the movie Uncle Tom and you'll see it. But um, so it, it, it's just funny. But funny. the bottom line is that so um, funny. you're not going to destroy our country. Uh, mm. what you're trying to do right now. You know, you can see the destruction and the hate and the violence that your party has been doing to our country. The whole world is not going to forget that. That's going to be in history forever. So <laughs> it's just funny to hear you. I thought I heard your video for two minutes, and, and then you were going to break down everything Kansas says and why Trump's the right to supremacist. It's pretty hilarious, you know. Hilarious. Getting special awards from the Jewish organization from 74 and 77. Getting an award um, for um, helping out black people with Muhammad Ali and Rosa Parks. That's that. Rosa Parks, 1986. Air, air great president before he was president, 1986. I mean, it's just hilarious. It's just hilarious. hilarious. So, um, it's just the funniest thing to even say funniest that word about Trump. The like, premise of two words when your party created everything from the KKK, from segregation, the slaves. And that's the most degrading, disgusting thing of humanity. Uh, it's like who's not only saying that Hitler, I mean, the Democrats started the KKK to threaten the black people not to vote Republican or they're going to kill them. That's how they actually started the KKK. But, um,. Boy, the way you talk, it's very similar to the KKK. Are you sure you're not in the Ku Klux Klan? It, it sounds you're sounding like a Klansman. The way you talk, on, on the, the persona, the way you talk, it sounds like you're you're very angry, and uh, it sounds like you're like like a part of the KKK or something like that. Yeah, it sounds just like that. <laughs> Come on, bro. I sound like a KKK. Well, first of all, what the the anonymous caller again, cowards. Cowards, just trembling cowards who can't leave their own name. Hey, this is so-and-so calling from such a place. That's all you need. But instead, you're afraid. And I, honorable enough to not leave, to not post your phone number, to not post the, the, the email address of this individual. I'm a decent person. But let's address some of this stuff. Yeah, you're absolutely right. The Democratic Party absolutely did do some terrible, horrible things, and their views were aligned to, to, with the Confederacy and with slavery, with segregation. Yeah, terrible. But it's strange to me, anonymous coward caller, that uh, you don't see Democrats waving Confederate flags anymore. It certainly was the Democrats waving them before, Civil War times and on, but it's Republicans waving them now. Why is that? Something called the Southern Strategy. I did a video about it. Here's the thumbnail. You could search if you'd like to educate yourself. Dollamore and Southern Strategy. Educate. Look into the history. You want to talk about erasing history. You're the one that is twisting and erasing our history. Because there was a concerted effort made by the Republican Party from the 50s on to gain control of the white racist voter in the South. And they did. And I break it down with election data, with audio interview of, of, of Republican strategists who talk about it, who lay it out there, who don't think that the, 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 the audio of the recording of the interview is going to be released. It's just pipe down. And also, slow down when you speak, guy. I know you're trying to emulate Ben Shapiro or something. It's, it's unbecoming. It's difficult to understand you. And not everything is funny or hilarious. Choose different adjectives. Anyway, uh, I got another one, but I'm going to save it for next time. I don't want this to go on forever. It was another one telling me, calling me a fake Marine that I... I wasn't a real Marine, whatever that means, even though I, I served on active duty for half a decade. Anyway, uh, I would love to know what you think. 714-576-4054. Uh, um, follow me on social media. Connect with me on the social media. I got the, I got Twitter and Instagram. Got a Facebook page for my, uh, my podcast. 
I'd love to connect with you. Anyway, have a great day, a fantastic non-anonymous day. I'll see you next time. Be genuine, callers. Take care of one another.